Germany has moved from intention to execution with a fresh order of 20 tranche 5 Eurofighters for the Luftwaffe, reaffirming both its immediate air power priorities and its longer-term path toward a next-generation combat ecosystem. The approval by the Bundestag's Budget Committee on October 8 and Airbus's confirmation on October 15, 2025 convert a pledge first trailed in mid-2024 into a concrete procurement. In doing so, Berlin signals that the Eurofighter will remain the backbone of its air defense well into the coming decades while serving as a technological bridge toward the future combat air system. The decision arrives at a moment when European air forces are under pressure to sustain credible deterrence, expand electronic warfare capacity, and protect industrial depth, and the German move touches each of those imperatives at once. The airframes will be assembled at Airbus's Mosching Line near Munich, but the story is less about metal and more about the electromagnetic spectrum. Tranche 5 jets will arrive with the European Common Radar System MK1 Active Electronically Scanned Array, a radar family designed to push range, track quality, and resistance to jamming in contested environments. The upgrade is not about prestige, it is about raising the floor of everyday situational awareness. An AESA set's ability to steer beams instantaneously, interleave modes, and harvest data more efficiently directly translates into earlier detection and more resilient target custody. That in turn improves the odds in missions that matter to NATO day in and day out, air policing, quick reaction alert, and patrols along the alliance's periphery where reaction time is measured in seconds. No less significant is the decision to integrate Saab's Orexis electronic warfare suite across both the new batch and existing Luftwaffe Eurofighters. While radar tells you where to look, EW tells you how to survive and shape the fight. Orexis is designed to detect, classify, and counter advanced emitters rapidly, knitting together sensing and jamming into a coherent defensive and offensive toolkit. For Germany, Standardizing this capability across the fleet promises more than incremental improvement, it implies a shift toward networked electromagnetic operations where multiple aircraft contribute to a shared picture and where the first effect delivered might be a deception or denial rather than a missile shot. In a world where modern surface-to-air threats are proliferating, the ability to blind, confuse, or mislead an adversary's sensors is as decisive as raw kinematic performance. The financials are straightforward and revealing. Berlin values the 20-jet package at 3.75 billion euros, with deliveries slated from 2031 through 2034. That schedule aligns with a broader modernization cadence and keeps production and upgrade lines warm at Mosching, a deliberate industrial choice. Several European programs have learned the hard way that talent and tooling atrophy when production pauses, Germany's choice cushions that risk while setting up a smoother glide path to future systems. It also spreads cost and integration work over time, reducing the shock of introducing multiple major upgrades simultaneously. There is realism in this pacing, adding a new radar and a fleet-wide EW suite is not a mere bolt-on, certification, mission data development, and tactics maturation will all require time and a disciplined test enterprise. The Tranche 5 order sits alongside Project Quadriga, the procurement of 38 Tranche 4 Eurofighters approved in late 2020. Together they amount to a two-step recapitalization strategy, stabilize the force around modernized airframes and then climb the capability curve with higher-end sensors and electronic warfare. The sequencing matters because it limits fragmentation within the fleet. Fewer configurations mean more efficient training pipelines, simpler logistics, and a tighter feedback loop between operational squadrons and the test community. For pilots, it means less time learning idiosyncrasies of disparate blocks and more time exploiting the full performance envelope of a coherent system. Strategically, this is also a NATO play. Germany's Eurofighters are a core contributor to Alliance air policing and a visible expression of collective resolve. Standardizing advanced sensing across the fleet increases interoperability with other European users of the type and helps align doctrine for operations in dense electromagnetic environments. The broader Eurofighter ecosystem, now spanning partner nations Germany, Italy, Spain, and the United Kingdom, along with Austria, Saudi Arabia, 
Oman, Kuwait, and Qatar, has passed the 740 aircraft mark. Scale matters because it sustains a competitive vendor base for spares and enhancements and because it creates a larger data and experience pool to refine tactics against evolving threats. Germany benefits from and contributes to that network effect. There is a longer horizon in view as well. Airbus has projected that the Eurofighter will serve in the Luftwaffe into the 2060s. That longevity creates room for spiral upgrades and for cross-pollination with technologies incubating under the future combat air system. In practice, that might include more advanced electronic support measures, expanded data fusion, new weapons integration, and potentially cooperative teaming with uncrewed systems. The point is not to turn the Eurofighter into a sixth-generation platform, but to ensure it remains a relevant, lethal, and survivable node in a mixed fleet where roles are distributed and effects are layered. Tranche 5 helps build that scaffolding. The order is also an industrial policy signal at a time when Europe is recalibrating its defense production base. By keeping the Maschine line active and pushing high-end avionics integration through German and European suppliers, Berlin is reinforcing skills that will be essential for FCAS and other aerospace initiatives. Sovereign capacity in sensors, electronic warfare, mission systems, and complex final assembly has strategic value beyond a single aircraft type. It supports export credibility, accelerates innovation cycles, and offers policymakers options when supply chains tighten or when political conditions complicate foreign sourcing. Yet no modernization is free of trade-offs. The delivery window beginning in 2031 ensures a capability infusion later in the decade, but it also means that interim risk must be managed as threat systems evolve and as older airframes age. The Luftwaffe will need to orchestrate upgrades, maintenance, and training carefully to avoid readiness troughs. Aircrew and maintainers must absorb new software loads, mission data files, and EW tactics while maintaining day-to-day -day readiness for NATO tasks. Budgetary pressure is another reality, the price tag reflects the growing share of value that resides in sensors and software. The return on that investment will be measured not just in platform metrics but in the quality and speed of kill chains that link ISR, command, and control, and shooters across domains. Operational effectiveness will hinge on integration as much as on equipment. The ECRS MK1 radar's benefits multiply when fused with other sensors and when its outputs are injected into a common operational picture shared with ground-based air defenses and allied fighters. The same is true of Arexis. Its most potent effects emerge when several aircraft coordinate jamming and deception in time and space, forcing an adversary's integrated air defenses to solve multiple problems at once. This demands rigorous joint exercises, robust data standards, and a willingness to iterate tactics quickly as new threat signatures appear. Germany's investment will only reach full potential if accompanied by equal attention to training, connectivity, and doctrine. Ultimately, Berlin's Trench 5 commitment is best seen as a bet on continuity with momentum. It keeps a proven airframe in production, injects a meaningful step-up in sensing and survivability, sustains critical industrial capacity, and positions the Luftwaffe to bridge methodically toward its next-generation concept. The Eurofighter remains the platform on which German fast jet expertise is built and maintained, Tranche 5 ensures that the expertise grows in the directions most relevant to modern air combat, information advantage, electromagnetic dominance, and alliance interoperability. In an era where the pace of change can tempt radical leaps, Germany has chosen a disciplined climb. The result is not a headline-grabbing revolution but a durable increase in real combat power, precisely where it counts.